Hey guys, what's going on? Sean Kumar, the Minister of Everything, and today I want to talk to you about your first Leica M body and camera combo. Um, and uh, let's get started. So, if you haven't watched my video on why your first Leica camera should be a Leica M, go ahead and do that first link in the description below and then come back to this video. Because in that video, I kind of talk people into buying a Leica M to begin with, and I put a blurb in there that I'll do a second video, which is this video about what I think your first camera combo uh, lens body combo should be um, so let's get right into it so the first camera I think you should buy in December 2020 January 2021 time frame is a Leica M type 240 with a 50 millimeter Summicron f2.0 lens um, and the lens version that I have is known as lens version 3 and that was manufactured in the 1970s now the beauty of owning this combo is is um, has many merits First of all, the 50 millimeter is known as the all-around lens. It should be your first, and I'd be surprised if you needed more than that, but I'm not saying it should be your only lens. For many people, it is because, one, that's all they can afford, but two, it sort of does everything you need to do um, for you to learn good photography and for getting those wide or teleshots, take two steps forward or two steps backwards. Um, but regardless if you're going to buy future lenses or not, <clears throat> This should be your first lens because it's sort of an all-round lens. And f2.0 provides a lot of low-light opportunities as well as getting those creamy, bokeh, uh, blurred background shots. Um, the first merit of owning a Leica M Type 240 in uh, this day and age is the price. You can purchase a body on eBay from anywhere from $2,000 all the way up to $2,400 depending on who's selling it and what quality um, the body is in. Um, a good shape body should be about $2,400 and that's what I paid for it. Um, some of the people whom I've taught to sort of look for the deals on eBay have outdone their master and they've actually purchased more expensive bodies for cheaper. Um, but that's, that's the subject of another video. Um, and those are rare um, events too. But these bodies you can pick up on eBay for anywhere from $2,100. And sometimes I've seen them go as low as $2,000. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a future episode. But today what I want you to appreciate is that you spend about $2,300, let's say, and you get yourself a full frame like a M body. And that is really cool. Combine that with a lens uh, like the one I own, the Summicron um, from the 1970s. And they work just as well today. You can buy them good quality on eBay anywhere from $900 onwards. If you buy a more recent like a Summicron lens, they're going to be more expensive. But if you were to stick to the 1970 version 3, you can pick one up from anywhere from $900 to $1,100 USD. Um, so combine your body and lens and you're anywhere between, you know, $3,400 about being your average. So that's really not a bad price for a Leica M and Leica lens body combo. Now, what I would like to discourage you from doing is looking into third-party lenses the first time you're buying your Leica. I want you to have the Leica experience as your first experience, and you need to get the full-on experience. And for $900 to $1,100, $200 for a lens is really not that bad for considering you're getting some of the worst, world's best optics, right? And we've talked about this in my previous video. Um, and there's really no reason why you shouldn't do that. And you should get that first Leica experience before you move on to third-party lenses because I really want you to see what you're getting into when you're buying um, these these lenses and these cameras. Um, and for $3,400, again, you're future-proofing yourself a little bit because your lenses will be with you forever throughout, throughout your Leica journey. You don't have to sell it. If you're going to upgrade to a better body in the future, the Leica M10s have already depreciated now. They're about $4,000. Um, if you decide someday you're going to sell this and buy yourself a, a, a newer Leica M, you don't have to send the lens. You can keep the lens and just sell the body. So you're already purchasing the lens one time purchase. You're going to keep it as you upgrade through the bodies. You're going to, you know, upgrade your body whenever you upgrade your body. Um, but for now, $3,400 for a Leica body and a Leica lens is a steal. And, you know, the Leica M Type 240s right now are not as hot and therefore the prices are spectacular. It's a great way for you to get into um, the Leica uh, uh, M uh, family. Uh, people are busy buying used Leica M9s because they like the CCD um, because that was the last Leica full frame camera to have a CCD lens, uh, CCD sensor. Um, it was very controversial when Leica released the Leica M Type 240 back in 2013 with a CMOS sensor, which they claim was not as good at rendering skin color and skin tones 
um, something I don't believe in. Um, I see the difference, but I don't see the difference enough to warrant and push you towards buying a Leica M9 as your first camera. In fact, don't do that. I will do an entire episode on why you shouldn't do that. Um, but this combo will get you started and give you possibly everything you ever need. Um, it produces phenomenal photographs. A lot of wedding photographers still use the Leica M-Type 240. Um, the Leica M10 is starting to depreciate in price. And eventually, you'll be able to afford that too. Um, one of the reasons not to buy a Leica Q instead is, again, price. You know, a used Leica Q2 right now is going for 4300 And obviously, a new one is more than that. It's about 4900 I want to say. Um, so, and remember, when you sell your Leica Q, the lens is fixed. It's not separate like it is on the Leica M. So you're not really future-proofing yourself um, and your Leica Q body and lens are fixed and therefore they depreciate together, unlike your Leica M camera where the body depreciates but your lens really doesn't. In fact, it appreciates because I have bought and sold Leica lenses before and I've bought back the same lens for more money than I've sold it for twice. So please learn from my mistakes. Um, and you don't really need too many accessories for this. Um, I'll get into more about how you could go and win on eBay and get this combo um, for the price that I've just stated. But I wanted you to get excited about that price point and I wanted you to get excited about this combo. Do some research while I do my next episode for you on how you can win um, online and where you should be looking to buy um, these bodies and lenses. Um, I hope you like my video. Um, please watch my other video on why you should buy Leica M if you haven't already. Like, subscribe, comment. Um, if you go to the links below, you'll see a, a, a link to go to my website and you can comment on the post there. I prefer all my comments sort of be there instead. Tell your friends about my video or videos and uh, I look forward to doing more videos on Leica and other topics. I'm the minister of everything, so I am interested in practically everything. So uh, stay tuned and I'll catch you guys all next time.